Hello everybody, this is Mike Austin with Victology. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do some pretty cool custom brushes in Adobe Illustrator CS6 and also the Creative Cloud version. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do here, drag out my oval. Okay, let's go ahead and do some basic brushing here. Let's go ahead and drag this shape into here. Art brush, always tints just in case you want to change the color and always make sure your brushes fill new brush strokes. Everything else stays the same. Okay, we have that one brush here. So now we want to go ahead and vary this a little bit. Let's go ahead and drag a copy out and drag one more copy to this right here. Control Alt drag to make a copy. Let's go ahead and knock this shape out here. Okay, let's make one more copy of that. A little bit smaller. Just like that. Now we have a different shape there. The same idea. The, really the thing is to get repetition and know how to make these brushes. You want to like really have it in your mind. Um, I'm working harder at teaching people this step first before I move on to bigger things. Okay, now we got that brush there. Now let's take a look at it. Nice different shape little more taper good for doing um, scaling or just want to do some general brushing there it's a really good one so you really want to just play around with these shapes a little bit more so I will do one more before I leave I'm going to go ahead and do three of these like this I'm gonna drop in one shape like this Let's pull this one a little bit out more. That one's fine there. That'll work. You're going to want to pull all these in here like this. Art brush. Tints like always. Let's go ahead and use that brush. A nice little tapered brush with some nice tapered strokes there. And that's pretty much how you would go about making your brushes in Adobe Illustrator CS6. You can add anything as long as it's a vector shape. Or if you're using Creative Cloud, you can use a an actual bitmap image or just something raster but um that has its uses so let's go ahead and conclu conclude this this is Mike Austin with Vectology and thank you very much for watching <laughs>